three months after imprisonment for mismanaging N6.3BN, Jonah Jang declares to run for president. Jonah Jang, former governor of Plateau State, has formally announced his decision to join the 2019 presidential race on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Flanked by his wife and supporters, Jiang made the declaration on Tuesday at the Secretariat of the Party in Zhou's, capital of Plateau State. The announcement comes three months after Jiang, who is currently representing Plateau North in the National Assembly, spent nine days at the detention facility of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC and was subsequently remanded in Joseph prison for another eight days for allegedly mismanaging N6. Three billion towards the end of his governorship tenure. In May, EFCC arraigned Jiang before Justice Daniel Longjai of the Plateau State High Court sitting in Joe's on a 12-count charge bordering on misappropriation of funds to the tune of N6. Three billion. He was alleged to have embezzled special funds released to the state by the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN, just before the end of his governorship tenure in 2015. Specifically, Jiang allegedly pocketed N2 billion released by the CBN for disbursement to small and medium enterprises in the state under the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Funds MSMED just a month before the expiration of his tenure in April 2015. He was also said to have abused his office by collecting money to the tune of N4. 3 billion from the state coffers through the cashier of the office of the secretary to the state government, Yusuf Jiang Pam. Jiang was docked alongside Pam who was also accused of using his office for personal enrichment to the tune of N11. 5 million. Count 8 of the charge read, that you, Senator Jonah David Jang, whilst being the governor of Plateau State between January and May, 2015 in Joe's, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court used your office as executive governor of Plateau State to confer unfair advantage upon yourself by collecting the sum of N4,357,195,000 4,357,195,000 Naira, from the cashier of the office of the secretary to the Plateau State Government, and which sum was derived from the account of Plateau State Government and you thereby committed an offence punishable under Section 19 of the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Act, 2000. Jang and Pam pleaded not guilty to the charge, after which Justice Longjai ordered the remand of the defendants in prison custody. They were granted bail late days after, on May 24. The two-time former governor would later describe his prison experience as a great lesson in humility. For me being in prison is a great lesson in humility, he said in a speech read on his behalf by Pastor Abraham Yiljap, his former commissioner of information, who represented him at the opening ceremony of the 94th General Church Council of Church of Christ and Nations, Kosen. When I was at the EFCC office in Abuja, I slept on the floor, but here in the prison I have the privilege of sleeping in the same bed that former President Aliska Nobis and Joe slept in at the Joe's prison. 